Greetings everyone, and Grade here with another H Bars 2 Definitive Edition replay. So on top of the right side as the orange Indusanis, we have Darush, Darish, Darush. So on the bottom left side as the blue Huns, we have Premier with a capital three. I believe this is a mega random map. There's only two relics inside the map. It's pretty close to blue side of the base. If you look at the map. This hill does sort of distort some of the distance uh, quite a bit, because I assume this hill is the same as this hill. But it's definitely in the left side of the map, and I see the monastery here as opposed to the monastery back here, so... <laughs> Short hop and skip, and Blue has two relics. Blue may want an eye for a fast uh, castle age because of those relics, maybe not. Either way, what comes civilization bonuses? We've got Hidden Sonics, which is camel and gunpowder. So maybe decent versus those cavalry archers of the Huns like to deploy on the field. Cheaper villagers, camels have increased health, gunpowder units have more armor. Elon, Imperial Cam Rider. <clears throat> and for blue. The Huns, of course, are a cavalry civilization. No need to start have palaces, but you start off with less wood. Uh first sounds of the spawns a hunted horse on nomadic maps. I'm not sure what that is. I think that's the scout horse thing. Both players fans of the feudal age. Do we see any rush there? Got cows scouting, being good doggies they are. Great talking to uh, uh stables. And of course have cheaper cavalry archers. Either way, there is a barracks for the Huns. The Indusani player has aged on up. The fun hey, player is aging up now. He may be on for some, some militia man rush, but no, it doesn't appear he built any of them on the field. Indusani player is going archer range there, so going double archer range, going for archers. We already got some in the field, so pretty uh, late age up. Let's take a look at the... what's we call it? Three military. The Hun player has an extra villager, or half a villager. Villager stabbing the scout. Got the archer engaged in this be. village here. Got a spearman, who's not really needed anymore since he got a good amount of damage on that scout. But at least does provide a bit of mass. <clears throat> That wall segment may have been destroyed, and maybe traverse lands, hard for me to tell. I'm the he's trying to build a stable, he needs, he's trying to get out some light uh, cavalry, or should I say, force, uh, scouts. Sorry, I have too much Age of Empires 4 terminology stuck in my mind at the moment. We now have Archer going up here, probably going for a skirmish or a 5. And the Hindustani player is almost at pop cap. His villagers are paused. And that will, of course, give a little bit more advantage for the Hun. Of course, he doesn't have to worry about those houses. Skirmish on the field. His villager was a little bit not producing, so may have been behind there as well. Got uh, one solid villager advantage for the Huns. And now Orange is rotating ground. Having trouble crossing the scaffolding. So just collecting the gold down here. I don't know how much. Uh, looks like uh, Orange heading to that gold deposit. That he has a safer gold deposit here, but he's actually not hitting that gold deposit at the moment. He does have a scout back. Has a pair of skirmishers. Timo. No fletching just yet. No fletching just yet. Maybe a little bit too early for that. But either way. Orange is going for no fletching. <laughs> does avoid those arrows. That lady does take a couple arrows. She'll tough it out. Got a good decent number of skirmishers here. Oh, they have three pure armors, oh. so the archers would do one damage to them. Fletching's on the way. That would double their damage output against skirmishers. We probably will see fletching as well for blue. Just if yep, there's fletching on the way now, so they have fletching to float out. It's relatively similar timing. And going for left of the uh, basic archer armor is probably not a great idea. After all, you will be finding get plus one armor as opposed to plus one range and damage. Sure, you can take one less damage from the spearmen, so 
this Scorm Stroke go for a deal, take from three damage down to two damage, but that's not really important. Fire skirmish on the field. So my joke about him uh, pulling out skirmish for five was correct. He actually needs more than that right now. He more. He did take out one villager. That should even out the villager count. Took some free arrows there. They're on discount. Got nine archers here versus the five skirmishers. Got third. He is going for the ranged armor. With this large conflict, I think that is a good idea. Now, of course, give him take one going from two damage on one damage, which is probably a good idea. How much is a. No, I don't know the cost of the initial archer armor. Probably cheap. And the Hun is actually have a significant villager advantage. I don't think this scout has killed any villagers. Not like a tapsy villager death. Blue has killed three units, which may have been yeah, archers. More. There are more archers here. And now we've got the single scout push with four. That will cause some issues. Of course, he does have plus one armor, so he does take four damage on five. Now he's going to try to shrink that scout. Does lose another skirmish there. Does lose a villager. Scout, blue scout takes some damage. Blue still has a superior number of villagers. I'm not sure what orange must be just really falling behind. He has some food and wood sort on up, so if his pop housing issues, he may just want to build a couple extra housing just to make sure he has plenty of spirit while he's microing his army. Well, it's in the micro. Blue scouts here. Got multiple orange scouts there. Orange has a sizable armor here. Takes out that one scout, but does lose basically a full health scout for that, and he has a very limited health scout here as well. Blue's abandoning that wood line, going for this wood line up here, gain some more walls up there to secure that gold. I currently now, since I'm starting to cast some other games, I'm currently just going to be eyeing for just uh, Tuesdays for company years too. Since I'm trying to mix in some other games, Builder goes down there. Archers now engaging. Decent amount of archers here. A couple spearmen. Scouts push way forward, trying to put, break through this wall. Get some good damage there on that one. Villager takes some damage. Does take out a villager there. Scouts not breaking on through. They're a bit wounded. They can be focused down. Blue's villager is now being tasked in the fight. Does take out the scouts here, but lose blue some villagers. Spin these villagers are quite wounded. And three of those villagers are now down. Scout down. And now the Hun. Ooh, he has been having a decent villager advantage, but now he's down by seven. He is going for Castle Wage, his opponent. Oops, that's view lock. He has a uh, Scouts and Cajun Scouts. And doesn't look like uh, Orange is getting his castle wage up. So, Hunbart, he's behind, but he can quickly come back over the extra town center or two. As well as some knights. A couple knights right now will be very, very useful. There's his age up. He's going for cavalry armor. He has the age up, which is critical. Exposed villagers here. We need to get out some more villagers and more knights. Two knights on the way. Scout goes down. He was pretty wounded. Villagers trying to get to the town center. Skirmish is trying to fight it out. He does already have plus one melee armor or cavalry armor. There's a knight there. Has three armor. So can withstand all except for two damage. These knights will be a hard encounter for those archers. These archers can be picked on off. Got a watchtower can be pulled out here. Hun's down by 10 villagers, but he does not have enough stone for another town center. He has some stone safe, two safe deposits of stone. 
Place another archer there. Now you can counterattack. Maybe a good idea to also just go for a handful of scouts and go straight for another town center. Maybe two town centers. One the skull deposit. Maybe one along the wood. There's the town center now. What did they buy? That's uh, I don't see a stone mine. So he must have bought that stone. Yep, there's a mark on the field, so he bought the stone. And Blue did raid a bit of Orange's villagers with some scouts. No longer a 10 villager vantage, but now just a 6 villager vantage. Six and a half, really. So the Hunt player has plenty of room to come back. Knights moving around. Does take a couple slices there. Does trap a villager there. A couple of these villagers are really being stupid. Doesn't feel like he can secure that villager, so he takes out those archers. Orange has now aged on up. He's going for some camels. Blue appears to only have these two knights in the field. Counts are going up, being rapidly produced. The villager count is even. Even enough. And both of them having second town centers, they should be maintaining being even. Unless people start dying. This is a war game after all, so people will start dying. Knight trying to run away. Takes a high ground shot there. So the Monk going for a conversion. Does not get the conversion. Uh, that monk needs to grab those relics. Not take time to heal that up. Trying to open the conversion there. Like I said, these relics are pretty safe for blue. He has a very short distance to get to his monastery. Now he has two knights. I should be providing enough escort for support of the monk himself. Blue's going for, or orange going for with some scouts as well as a pair of his own monks. Gets the relic inside, and now Blue's monk will go down. Let's see what Blue has in the build queue. He's going for the. I'm drawing blank on their husbandry. Camels have low base armor, so they can get ripped apart. Scouts now engaging. We've got Halberdier Research, or not Halberdier, Pikeman. Bill Wolos. Does this uh, scan away, and Orange will grab the other relic. So both sides will get a relic. Blue could have easily gotten those relics a little bit better because he was in Castlewood for a bit of time. He could have go quick grab those. By the way, losing one relic is not a massive deal. That means they're just going to be on equal footing in that aspect. Scouts moving around. More pikemen build queue. We may see. We don't see cavalry archers, nor villagers queued on up for the Hun. That's actually been an oversight. Orange designed for more villagers. He looks like he has three to villager queues as well, so Orange will maintain a villager advantage. <clears throat> looks like Blue's trying to transition to some farms. Orange has some farms. Looks like less farms. And Orange is up to forward of a large group of villagers. He does have... Not a lot of stone, so maybe scaffolding the ground. Nope. We have him selected, so I don't see scaffolding on the ground. Oh, there it is. He will build the castle up the hill. It will also block this gate. Is that good or bad thing? Orange trying to close the game now. He can only get a crossbowman, so he has probably better castle in the aspect. He can get heavy cavalry, but no parking tactics. Heavy cavalry archers. He can get champions. Can't get gambersons. 
they're mostly a camel civilization. No knights, no uh, paladins. Oh, no, no knights, no cavaliers, no paladins. Siege workshop not being built. Now we've got a forward cast here. But blue can be, get some veteran rams and enter safely to, the, uh, to its opponent's castle. So that's both a good spot and a bad spot. It walls in its opponent. Also means it's, like I said, veteran rams. Blue's trying for some additional walls. Got a number of these camels now attacking. Armored elephants now being put in view. Blue barrel now being the research for orange as well. What is the pun eyeing? Is iron for weir barrel and pikemen? Armor elephants are the battering ram uh, replacement for Hindustani. Do they get affected by bonus damage from pikemen and high cavalry damage? I don't know. I know they can get healed up by monks rather than healed up by a villager. Do you still need a uh, redemption? Yeah, I don't know why I can't remember all that. Squire is not being researched, as well as some chain mail, but that structure will go on down. We got some knights back here. He's on the pikemen, but it looks like the Hun doesn't have a whole lot on the field. It has a couple leftover skirmishers. Scouts or light cavalry gets some damage there on those knights. Here comes the pikemen. And this uh, scout has been misclicked and will die for that. Does go for a basic palisade wall there. There is actually a hole here. Now here comes the camels and the armored elephant. As well as the gilong. Which the Gilam what attacks in a line, damage in a line. He's also a fast moving guy. Blue's trying to go for a backline castle. Blue may lose this town center here. And right now, uh, Orange has forced multiple castles around his opponent's town center. Blue's backline castle is going on up. Hunt's unique unit is the target, which is an anti structure unit. Or anti yeah, anti structure cavalry. But maybe decent against those castles he's fighting against. His opponent probably does not, probably will not get murder holes. Elon's getting ripped apart by these castles, as well as the town set of fire. Multiple farms have been denied. We also got a pair of Magnals inside of the Siege Workshop at the moment. Pikemen trying to engage the Armored Elephants. Yeah, they do definitely do bonus damage versus uh, Armored Elephants. They just ripped that one apart. Monster is going on down. If he has a nearby monk, he can grab the relic. And maybe what I do for blue, they actually go for a handful of Tarkins to help do the castles. Got another castle being pulled out here by blue. Yet deleted one too many wall segments. Looks like one villager can't maintain building. Stables starting going down. Scouts trying to gauge the Palisade Gate. Uh, backline stable here. I'm gonna do. I can try to stop that one. Villagers migrating over to this gold deposit, I believe, or this gold deposit here. 
And Pikeman will report this like Cavalry does short out gate though. Elams, they must do a bit of bonus damage for some knights. I thought they didn't. There's some spear type units that don't actually do bonus damage for cavalry, while well, they generally most of them do. Let's get the knights inside the castle. He may want to research herbal remedy to get some extra healing. Maganel's firing against this town center. Or castle drop. Dojo takes some damage there. He does take out one of the Maganels. Another Maganel goes down. Armored Elephant to Troy 4. Castle almost complete. And nice knock gauge the Armored Elephant. More Armored Elephants being brought on in. Does go down. More armored elephants going in. He has to pull out some Tarkins. But he probably needs a little bit more. Elon's push away four. Got a good number of pikemen help protect against them, as well as the armored elephant engaging that castle now. Some of these villagers are being stabbed by the Elon's. These villagers going down. He's losing quite a bit of number of villagers. Orange has stolen that relic as well. Loses another Tarkin there. I wonder if Orange has. It looks like uh, Blue is actually going to Imperial Age. That's a little bit risky. Orange going to Imperial Age as well, going for more Gilons. I was going to say, has uh, Orange gone for Murder Holes? He is not going to be able to go for it. Blue's advanced Imperial Age. Orange is already complete. Blue needs some trebuchets as quickly as it can. Along with this, if he builds trebuchets over here, it could quickly be overrun by Gilongs. Even if the ones that get deployed around here will be quickly overrun by Gilongs. No ballistics. Blue could stand to get ballistics as well. Does not have it. Trebuchet now engaged in the keep or castle. Elons are advancing. He's going to have to stand and fight against them. It is a bit of a choke point there, so the castle can get some good damage. He's going to push away forward. He gets trapped there. Some of the trebuchet is going to be hit there. He's going to repair the pillagers. Elons trying to get to the trebuchet. Not standing fighting, so they will get rid of the part there. Now got multiple trebuchets hitting Blue's castle, while Blue has multiple trebuchets engaging this castle here. Looks like Orange has three trebuchets in the field. Blue's castle will likely go down. Orange castle does go down. And looks like Blue's ca uh, cavalry will overrun these siege weapons. But he's slowly getting whittled down, but now he's in within the murder hole range, so he possibly should have swung out wider. He is retargeted there, that's maybe an oversight. And those units do go down. Blue Strip Shade is now engaged in the, both of those castles now. Another siege workshop there. Orange has two. Strip Shade is engaged in Blue's castle. Villagers oh, could push forward and take out these trebuchets. They should be out of range of the castle. Another pair of targets in the build queue. 
and he's within the minimum range or out of the minimum range of the castle. Thorn churches can go down, whose castles under severe damage. Gold being cooked up, got a uh, white cavalry there going on down. Another castle does go down to Blue's trebuchets. Blue's castle is staying up. This took severe damage. Does get one. Repairs. Oh, he's out of stone. 23 health remaining. There's a bit of stone he can collect up there for a bit of repairs. Orange Nazi bombard can there. Parkins not advancing. Of course, these Tarkins don't have any melee damage increase, so they're not like the most the threatening cavalry. Blue has stabilized. Orange has a lot of infrastructure up here, however. Orange has nearly 150 villagers. Blue only has less than 90. Orange may want to cut out on villager production if he has... He's building one more villager. Does not need any more. Anything more right now will probably limit the amount of military units for one field. More housing going up. He must have been a puff cap as well. Losing all those, each castle buys you, what, 20 population? So losing those castles resulted in being probably pop capped. I thought that was three castles, so that's 60 population. Parkins hoping he cannot be getting those pikemen. Castle King's on damage there. Armored Elephant engaging the trebuchets. Phantom Rams as well as Armored Elephants are good versus siege weapons. And now he's trying to stop the castle going down. He has been repaired up by decent amount. And now we've got some more of the heavy camels being pulled on the field. He does have access to Imperial Camels. Which we don't see that research going. We've got more Keylons with the Q as well. Pikemen now engaging some of these villagers, and the bomb bar is hitting some fire. Pikemen move around, gives the damage to those villagers. We got a massive number of the heavy camel riders now pulling in the field. He does not have Elite Gilon just yet. Now I've got the Halbeer research on the way for Blue. And maybe we've got to go for Cavalry Archers. Heavy Camels only have four range armor. Cavalry Archers can be very nice. And the Hunts can get some pretty nice Cavalry Archers as well as 20% cheaper ones. Trebuchet does go down, Pike and now engage in the camels. Looks like the camels will win. Of course, they don't have the most amount of armor, so they will take private damage from this castle. More halberdiers pull on a field. Counter has taken some better, seen better days. He has a pair of halberdiers on the inside. That's been an oversight. He can use them out. One trip she does go down. Now I've got another council being built here. Orange going for a castle. Wound hazards or hazards. Golden field.
Counts that it takes some damage. Counts for those good garrison. We got a very good number of halberdiers in our full and field. And halberdiers will win this trash fight. There's still plenty of gold in the map for both players to pick them up, so you don't have to really have to pull out trash. So we've got a number of key longs for straight forward. But the Halvirus is in far too large numbers. Doesn't have any more blacksmith research just yet, just only plus one. Blue has a town center not fully lit, 95% complete. A couple more hammers, you can fix it up. Decides not to finish it. Outpost there, more of Orange's Hazards for straight forward. Has to take severe damage. Taking some damage there. How here is the some key longs. And it looks like Blue does back of the game now. This and great saying, thank you for watching, and on to the next replay.